What's up guys? It's your mate Jay here and I'm back from Japan and oh my goodness it was freaking amazing balls. We had so much that we'd done and crammed into the three nights we were there. It's probably going to take me a little while to edit all these videos and and go through them all, but I've got some footage, so I'm hoping it all came out. Got off the plane yesterday, I'm still jet lagged and still tired. The track day was amazing. It was better than anything I could have ever imagined. The country is awesome. It's, it's everything I thought it would be, really. The food was amazing. Everyone's super friendly, super clean city. There's the minimal to low crime. Like I had no trouble walking around. But now it's back to reality, you're back to work. Now the one thing I was surprised about was I didn't see many motorcycles. So I thought that would be a, a big thing in Japan, seeing as though they all walk and ride bicycles and stuff. But I saw maybe five all up. It was a bit of a letdown actually. I thought I would see a lot more. But man, have I missed the bike. <laughs> I enjoyed walking around. Like I walked almost 40 k's in three days just walking around Tokyo. And I missed my bike. I haven't ridden in a week. Over a week. So I just thought I'd talk today about some of the things that surprised me about Japan. Some things I didn't know. So maybe if you're going to go to Japan, it might help you out. Obviously everyone's super friendly, but they don't all speak English. So on uh, Friday night, one of the guys, Jack and I, went for an adventure to try and find uh, Daikoku Car Park where all the JDM car hangouts are and we quickly found that trying to navigate the train system that no one speaks English so it would be uh, beneficial if you did go to Japan learn a little bit of Japanese if you can the Google Translator helped us a little bit so when we actually got to uh, Daikoku Car Park and we were trying to converse with some people we had to use Google Translate so that was interesting, it was funny so I don't always count on people talking in English because not the opposite of the time though I'll speak Japanese. And number two, when you're changing money, check the rates. If the rates are pretty good in Sydney, change your money in Sydney. I got stung. I was going to change money at Sydney Airport. It was like, I think a dollar was 87 yen at the time or 86 yen, which wasn't too bad. I think the official rate was 88. And I thought, oh, I'll wait till I get to Japan, it might be better. And I changed over there and I got a dollar or 77 yen. So I got a uh, thousand less yen, which isn't much, but it could just mean like it's another meal or a couple of drinks or a souvenir, like everywhere else you go, you know, research it and uh, try and maximize your dollar. Uh, number three, food's really cheap. You can get a vending mill machine, which I tried, I did try it, and it was actually really, really good. I got a chicken and potato, they call it, which is chicken and chips. And uh, they gave you a small handful of chips and some chicken that was heated in the machine. And that cost about 370 yen, which is, uh, I think it was about a dollar or two dollars or something like that, so pretty cheap. It's pretty tasty. Uh, you can live on that sort of stuff around. Now, I didn't find it in too many places. I found it in one place. So I don't always count on there being food vending machines. Uh, but generally, meals are pretty cheap. Like, you can go and get a small meal from a restaurant for around 500 yen. Um, I got a big, big plate of noodles with some chicken and vegetables uh, for about just under 900 yen. So I got that with a Coke Zero and it was about 1200 yen, so about 10 or 12 bucks. But I found uh, when I was looking around, alcohol is quite expensive to buy, especially in a restaurant. 
So because of that, I didn't drink too much. But yeah, otherwise, I didn't have trouble finding food. There's places to eat everywhere on every corner. A lot of places are 24 hours as well. Tip number five, wear comfortable shoes. Because <laughs> uh, even try and get ones that you can slip on and off easily. Because a lot of places, if you go to someone's house, they don't wear shoes inside. So you take your shoes off and then you either wear slippers or just socks. So everywhere we went we were constantly taking shoes on and off. Uh, but also because you do a lot of walking. Like I said, I walk close to 40 k's in three days all around Tokyo. And that was walking a you know, 12 k a day because you just want to see everything you can. I mean, I did while well, I was there, so... I just walked around taking heaps of photo, heaps of video, tried to make the most of my time there. Alright, and my last tip, tip number five. If you're looking to buy souvenirs, there's a few places you can go. The 100 yen stores are quite popular. Look at Rijik Shop for Japan, they sell everything. Uh, they usually have a few cool little things. Uh, there's a store called Don Quixote, which is a 24 hour kind of like a 100 yen shop but a bit more expensive things a bit better quality clothes aren't really that cheap like I was trying to find a I love Japan t-shirts and stuff I love Tokyo t-shirt from one of these cheap department stores was still 2,000 yen so if you work backwards 2,000 yen and I got 7,700 yen for 100 bucks it's about 20 to 30 bucks for a t-shirt so not cheap so my suggestion would be if you're going to see a new shop do it at the airport i bought some fans some fold out fans for my family for my kids and my wife in the don quixote store they are about 13 to 1500 a fan i could have got the same uh similar ones in the airport for about the same price so and I walked everywhere all over Tokyo trying to find these fucking things. Because there's a lot of stuff you could buy. A lot of it you can get in Australia. It's just Japanese made. And I wanted to find stuff that you couldn't really get in Australia. Because, like, if I wanted to buy, you know, hair ties. I've got girls, so they love makeup and hair ties and all that sort of stuff. So you can buy that stuff here. It's all the same shit. And it's cheaper here anyway. I was trying to find stuff that I couldn't get in Australia. Things that they might, you know, appreciate. Like Hello Kitty things. <laughs> so I got them some Hello Kitty stuff. Which you can't buy that here, really. Unless you buy it online, I suppose. There is a much bigger selection of touristy souvenirs at the airport. If you're going to have a souvenir shop, just do it at the airport. I should have done that myself, but anyway, it doesn't matter. I had a good time. So yeah, so that's basically my five tips. I think that covers just about everything I wanted to talk about in this video. So I'm going to go through all my footage and my photos and I don't know how some of the videos are going to turn out because I have my GoPro in the sealed case so I don't think you're going to get much audio so I might just do like a music video to them but there's a video of us catching the subway in Japan the rail system's awesome so I've got some tips about that as well and I've got the track day of course me walking around Tokyo it's got everything Mount Fuji so yeah so That'll do for today. I'm almost at work. Alright guys, so that's it for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Oh, come on. Move out of the fucking way.